Hi, um, this is Ryan Bowright, and I'm going to be taking over the second half of the video. Um, so Desmond addressed the topic of, is respect for teammates and team the same thing as loyalty to the team? Um, I'm going to be answering the second part of that question of, um, is there a limit on how much loyalty um, a coach or organization can demand? My short answer to this question is yes. At the end of the day, I believe a player has to do what is best for them um, and their families. Um, they have to weigh the cost versus reward of being a part of that program um, and being loyal to a program. Um, however, <clears throat> I believe that anything short of the, uh, the cost being too much for that player is they need to be absolutely loyal to that team. Um, now, according to AgileConnection.com, um, they say that um, the number one factor to successful teams is commitment. If the players are not fully committed and loyal to the team, they shouldn't be a part of the team, in my personal opinion. Now, loyalty doesn't just mean sticking with one team. Loyalty is the factors and uh, traits that successful teams um, and loyal teams have. Um, these were addressed by Desmond earlier on, such as uh, hard work, ownership, leadership, patience, um, community engagement, I mean, doing the little things right. Um, the little things are doesn't matter what level um, but specifically let's say like high school and college are showing up on time um, keeping your grades up so that you can um, be a part of the team and so on and so forth now in respect for the cost versus um, reward um, these particular costs i believe are going to be factors to determining if um, you should be loyal to that program and, you know, do what they say and be a part of it. Um, at the end of the day, an athlete has to protect their body and health. It doesn't matter if you're at the middle school level or the professional level. You have to, in my opinion, stay healthy and do not endanger yourself in any severe way. Now, don't get me wrong. Being tough and sticking on injuries is different from playing football when you have 12 concussions. You got you to gotta protect yourself. Um, the second factor is um, your family, whether it be financially, um, time, you know, with children or uh, significant others. Um, you have to contribute or you have to factor in your family um, at the end of the day. Um, and lastly, um, your future. You, long story short, if it's best for your future, be you should be utmost loyal to that program and be a part of the program and completely buy in. If it's not you know, in the cards and not what you need um, for your future, you, you get out. Loyalty is you're either all in or you're all out. Anything short is, is no good. <clears throat> now, that being said, coaches and organizations need to be equally committed to the players as the players are to them. Um, if the loyalty and commitment change on either end of the spectrum, the program will not be successful. Um, now, that being said, loyalty as a middle schooler and a loyalty as a pro is going to be different. Um, as a middle schooler, you know, if, if the program is asking you to show up on time, work hard, um, factors like that, showing loyalty in that aspect is going to be different than showing loyalty at the pro level where, you know, players change teams all the time. Um, loyalty at the pro level is being loyal to your team while you're committed to that team. So showing up on time, working hard, having a good attitude, um, stuff like that. So uh, short answer is yes, there is a limit on the loyalty that um, a coach or program can ask, but the um, anything short of it, those players should be 100% committed to the program and trust that they chose a program um, that's gonna take care of them because at the end of the day, it, it's, it's give and take. The coaches and program, need to be committed to the players and the players need to be committed to the coaches and program. And if so, you'll have a successful program. Thank you. Um, and the, all of our sources will be cited um, at the end of the video. Have a great day.